don't they? Sure. Hey, come on in. Thanks. I, uh, didn't expect to see you here. Well, it was a crazy night, but you probably already know about that. Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, listen, is your mom around? I wanted to ask her a few follow-up questions. The sooner we get her statement, sooner we can lock Julian up for good. Happy birthday, Sunny. I hope this year is better than the last. Couldn't get any worse. Well, I hope that uh, you and Carly can find some peace. Well, the sooner Jax is gone, I mean, we should work on that. Sonny, what makes you think Jax is leaving? You know, Jax, he has a limited attention span. He'll be gone before you know. Yeah, you did something, didn't you? And I probably don't want to know. Probably not. Probably not. Hey, Elizabeth, something else happened with Jake? Okay, I'm coming over. Uh, something's going on with Jake. Elizabeth told me to stop by. Go see your kid. That, that comes first. Yeah, thanks for understanding. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. celebrating me. <laughs> Look, uh, I know it's none of my business. You want some advice? Yeah, always. Be careful how you play this thing with Carly. You've already pissed her off. Don't do something you can't take back. Happy birthday. It's best to get statements as close to the events as possible. No, I understand. But my mom was a little shaken up, as you can imagine. That's mm. why I spent the night. She's been sleeping most of the afternoon. Sure. Well, I, you know, this won't take long. I promise you just need to get documentation on the kidnapping charges. The police showed up at the motel. Julian confessed to holding your mom hostage. Okay. Well, if he confessed, why do you need a statement from my mom? I just need to lock the case down. Your mother can confirm this. We can nail Julian to the wall for good. I'll explain the situation to my mom, and I'll get her down to the station as sure. soon as I can. All right, that'd be great. Okay. Hope your mother feels better. Thank you so much. Be safe out there. He's gone. Thanks for the save. Oh, I didn't think you are up for Dante's questions right now. Yeah, you know, I'm, I, I'm not ready to give official statements this early in the morning. It's afternoon. Whatever. OK, so you, you might not have been up for Dante's questions, but it doesn't let you off the hook for mine. What really happened with you and Julian last night? You found me with Julian. You saw exactly what happened. Uh, no, I heard what happened, more to the point I heard it from Julian. So you think his confession is a lie? <laughs> well, well, I, I don't have a problem believing that Julian would kidnap you. I, I find it hard to believe that he would take you to a motel room. Well, where else is he gonna go? He can't come here. Yeah, you're right. He can't, can he? I don't know, Mom. I just am having a hard time believing that he would hold you up in a, a motel room. So why don't you just tell me the truth? He didn't kidnap you, did he? Hey! Mom! Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're okay. I'm okay. What happened to your arm? Walking and texting. What? You came over last night as soon as we heard what Julian did. And to tell you about Molly. Oh. But somebody wouldn't let us see you. Oh, well, that, it's that somebody was asleep. Well, we could have tiptoed into her bedroom. You know, I'm in one piece, but you aren't. Well, I'm worried. You're the one who went through a trauma with Julian, OK? And since 90% of all communication is nonverbal, Christina and I thought it would just be better if we could come see you We ourselves. didn't want you to have a drink. Christina? Ooh. What? That's why we're here, isn't it? I was trying to say it in a more subtle way. Well, you were taking too long, and the food's getting cold. We brought brunch from Kelly's. We thought waffles would be good comfort food. For both of us, <laughs> and you figured right. 